Cool, let's see, let's go. And Sean, what happened with the sound? What happened last week? What happened? That's the left one. Yeah, his laptop, my yeah, laptop. USB ports are fucked. Are fucked. Mm. So they, they were picking and not picking, picking, not picking, picking. So there was a a lack of communication. Yeah. So that's what I'm using. This is Len's laptop. Ah, sweet. Yeah. Perfect. So what are any problem now? Okay. Cool. You ready? Yeah. Sweet. Podcast and chill. Matt G, the ghost lady, and Len Moleko. Attention, attention! <laughs> Summertime, spring is here, motherfuckers! <laughs> it is, it is, it is indeed. And if you're wondering why we look so good today, it's because Mondo is back! Or should I say he's late? <laughs> Welcome to the party. <laughs> Welcome to the party, Mondo. Oh, why are you so excited is. that spring is back? It's still cold, though. Yeah, the it's a weird weather, spring, yeah. eh? It's a bit the chilly. The weather is not really playing ball. Yeah, kind of vibes, but it's. But the idea that it's the first of okay, it was the first of September. You know, we are in spring, just makes us. Mm. And what happened to the white T-shirt contest yes. yesterday? Yeah. What happened? Ah, people didn't come with white T-shirts. <laughs> no, because you do not express. Yeah. It's it enough. But it's fine. I'm gonna try it again. Anyway, uh, Hinda Varmini, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are here podcasting. <laughs> Big shout out to everybody that came yesterday to the 20k party. Oh my god. <laughs> Tuesday. Oh yes, yes, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Uh, what did you guys think of the party, man? I had fun, man. It was Too dope. Much fun. Yeah, it was nice. All, all ten, all ten people that came. All, thanks. Yeah. Do you know? <laughs> Big ups to you, man. No, but at least it was twenty. Before it was ten. Now I think the numbers doubled. So Is it was a success. But if you take our first party, which was five, second yeah. party ten, ten, yeah, and then we twenty yesterday, yeah. that's thirty-five. Exactly. People minus all our friends. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> who came because they felt obliged to okay, come that's, through. Thank you to the two of you that came. <laughs> <laughs> ah, but it was dope, dude. There were so many subscribers there. I went the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there was a girl, she was so funny. She got a driver uh, to come drop her off. I'll actually tell mm. you her name. I forgot her name. I'll find it here on uh, on the WhatsApp line. Mm. Oh, she was um, so funny, dude. Is it? Yeah. She got a driver to come drop her off. Yeah, I think he left. He was there. Like the first few hours, ne? and then he left. No, he mm-hmm. was still there. He didn't leave. He just, they just, the car just moved from where it originally parked. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh. Okay. So the driver was chilling in the car. Yeah. Just waiting. Just waiting. Oh, wow. Yeah. And guess who she, she was there for? Who? For Monde. Ah, uh, Monde. She was like, where's Monde? Ma bad. I did some fighters again. <laughs> Yeah. At that time, people actually it was not only her. There was quite a number of people who were there for Monday, yeah. and they kept asking, "Okay, cool, we get that you guys are here, but we're not here for you. Monday? Where is Monday? You know, <laughs> give him the mic. The Monday, explain yourself. Eh? For ten marks, why? What happened yesterday, man? <laughs> All right, before we get there, did you make a plan though? At least, like, capture the contact details. Ah, this and guy. Then from there, no. we can take no, it from that's there. That's you know? like you saying we must make on your behalf. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like take video recordings so that I can preview no. them and then select the one that I actually like. Sunny's gonna ask us to strap it up for him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going in. <laughs> Come on, at least. <laughs> what happened? Why couldn't you make it, bro? All right, it's quite a long story, mm. but then it started actually on a Saturday. Mm. Uh, a friend of mine was actually hosting this farewell party for himself in Greenside, so I was invited to that thing. Yeah. So I decided, you know what? I'm gonna go there. I'm going to check out what my friend is actually up to. Yeah. And then I get to Greenside. There's a couple of people drinking, doing all kinds of things. Mm. And then I bump into this dude. He's like a white dude. Yeah. Right? <laughs> He's like a white dude. <laughs> <laughs> so he offers me mushrooms. Okay. Uh, yeah. I don't know if you guys have taken mushrooms before. No, no. no, no, no Scoop no, has yeah. though. Yeah. Yeah. Scoop has actually. And I got a, weirdly, I, once, I was once in a fight. So you were high basically. <laughs> Once in a while. So that's why you couldn't come, you were high. So yeah, he offers me mushrooms. Mm. And he tells me, dude, no matter what you do, don't take these mushrooms right now mm. or the next day. Make sure that you are out. You are in the mountains, <laughs> not like in the city <laughs> landscape. Oh, wow. They come with instructions. <laughs> yeah, so it's a lot of work. Yeah. They come with instructions. Yeah. <laughs> so you put in a, a little disclaimer to make sure that, you know what, don't take these while you are in a different kind of environment like the city or your own apartment. So you need to be where nature yeah. 
So you need to be where, where nature is, God. where the mountains are, mm-hmm. where you can see God, like Scoop. Mm-hmm. Yes. But then I decided, you know what? Oh, Fuck this. Why not? I should actually try it. Yeah. And see how it actually goes. Yeah. Hold the mic close to you. Yeah. Yeah. So I should actually try it. Mm. So at in the morning, I decided to try it out. So I had the mushrooms <laughs> within 30 minutes. Something weird actually started happening. Yeah. Like I was looking around, I started seeing silhouettes, you know, silhouettes like shadows mm. in the walls. Yeah. And it's like a cow. And a cow all of a sudden just is making these flexing like <laughs> moves and all of that, you know. <laughs> so the cow is flexing, these patterns happening in the background. And it's like some weird random music which is playing and I'm, I'm freaking out. Yeah. You know, I'm like, what the hell am I seeing right now? Yeah. So I'm trying to fall asleep. And then I'm still seeing the same silhouettes yeah. going on and all. So pretty much I had a bad trip. Yeah. And then I dozed off. You were alone. Was, hmm? You yeah, were I alone. was at home, actually. <laughs> 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 yeah, so I was actually at home. Mm. And then when I woke up, I was woken up by the phone call uh, at half past five or so. It was like a video call or something like that. Yeah. And at that time, I'm still like... Was it a little video 100%. call or was it a silhouette video call? <laughs> but it was us when we tried to call them, remember? Oh, yeah. Oh. Yes, outside we tried to yeah, video yes. call him. Yes. So it was you guys. <laughs> it was like... <laughs> wow. <laughs> you were the guys who wake, woke me up. So it was like it was like that. And then the numbers that I got there, it was like anonymous or something like that. Yeah, it was my girl's number. Was that your girl? Yeah. Okay, yeah. So that was the video call that woke me up. Mm. And I was like, you shit. It was anonymous, eh? Yeah. So I had the worst experience with mushrooms. And yeah, kids shouldn't do drugs. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why you couldn't come. When that's why I couldn't come, and I was I was having a bad I was trip. Tripping. I was high. <laughs> I was a scoop. <laughs> <laughs> I pulled a scoop right there. I could what a jeez, man. But you right, lost guys, out. You heard. There was a there was a there was, there was oh there was a lot of fly honeys mm. who all came for you. Yes, 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 yes. So oh, the woman that meets your criteria. All of them. One even had a driver, chief. Oh, her name is Ntokozo Msomi. Yes, Ntokozo. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, she came specifically for you. Damn, is she hot though? Yes. yes. Okay, out of a 10, what is the rating? She, she's, hot. Hey, she's hot. Okay. I think I got a picture of her. Let me show you a picture of yeah, her. Let's check it out. She's on the, the, the Instagram account. Oh, is it? Yeah, she's I'm on the Instagram. Instagram. I told you guys about Twitter. We would never get to a thousand. So I, at least I didn't get to buy a thousand. 10 drinks yesterday. And there was a subscriber who yeah. took like four taxis, ne? Yes. What? Uh, yeah. Tulani. Tulani, yes. Where does he um, say? I can't remember, I can't remember <laughs> where, I can't remember where he says he's yeah, from. Give me the mic. <laughs> uh, but like, he took like, length taxis to get to the party. And wow. he was, he was one of a few people who was, still left. By yeah. By the time we left. Yeah. So okay. big ups to Tulani. Wow, are yeah. you serious? And like oh, he was thank ta- you, Tulani. Yeah, he was taking pictures and sending them to his to his daughter and saying, "Here's some tacos. Here she is. Here she is. Uh, there she is. Look who I'm with and whatnot." Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> Monday likes and tacos. <laughs> so for tacos. someone in your shoes, I wouldn't be picky, dog. You know exactly. <laughs> Anything no, just goes. You're keen to peer wash. No, because she's, she's nice. Yeah. yeah. But big ups to everybody who came through, though. Just like yeah. yeah. And I saw a lot of people complaining that we didn't invite, like, send invites. Uh, but it's only because the place was small. Yeah. So we couldn't send, like... No, but we did send invites. No, no I'm saying, uh, like, um, open to everyone. Oh. Like, yeah. oh. my banner who put it up on his Twitter. <laughs> 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 I see you guys here. It's like, no. Because I saw Kima Tapel, she's like, I didn't get an invite. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But Askies. we gave instructions on, on what to do. What to do. If you wanted to, to be the there. Yeah. So essentially that means those people did not listen to the previous episode. Yeah. Perhaps. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah perhaps. So. Yeah, just but we're going to be doing a new one soon because uh, we found a new home in Midrand. Uh, Lane showed me this place. Mm. It's so dope. Are you serious? Fuck it. So I'm going to do a party the tomorrow. There yeah, they yeah, the were waiting for us was already. The at our party yesterday. Yeah, 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 the manager's at the party. Are yeah. you serious? Yeah, yeah. Oh, sweet. So, ah, so dude, sweet, it's so man. dope. How sweet. And it's gonna poo. It's yeah. gonna poo. Ser- now I can have my pants. <laughs> okay, you can have your <laughs> your wet t-shirt. Uh, okay. And, and this one, everyone's invited. There's like the sp- the space enough for parking, like the parking space. Mm. It's yeah. huge. It's massive. Wow. Oh, it's so is this like a bikini party? Yes. We can make hosted this a- by Len. Mm. 
Yeah, there's so a pool. When should we? They got a bonfire. Oh, nice. And then if you are wet from the swimming pool, you can go to the bonfire to it, dry yourself. To warm see. up, yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah. I we, think we, 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 if I could, I'd do one tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> but since well, people come in drips and drabs, I think you tell us, hey, let's like, well, when do you want us to do this? Yeah. Because like we say, okay, we're having a party. Yay. And, and everyone will be invited this time. No invite. Yeah, but this is an invitation. Like it's us <laughs> inviting people and saying, yo, come through. And I actually think we should play games at these parties, man. Like 30 seconds. Is it stuff yeah. like that? And then we can give away like prizes, prizes, like, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like some of the people that have been on on Black Friday, maybe they can contribute to the prize. Oh yes, like Suela wines or something. True. You know, with yeah. Acha guys. Yeah, mm. oh, bye bye. Oh yes, yes. Quota guy, because he's not far from the joy. Exactly. Oh, 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 you can exactly. sell quotas yeah. there. You can even sell quotas there. Yeah. So the possibilities are endless. Yeah. Mm. So yeah, tell us when you want us to have the podcast and chill bikini party. And then mm. with all of that, five people will come watch. <laughs> <laughs> and guys must also dress up. I don't want no women that they just all day. It's like I'm a six pack. Yes, I don't care. <laughs> Keep them color, whatever you have. Okay, cool. It's fine. Uh, yeah. So shorts and bikini party. Yeah, yes, but I'm drinking water bikini. today. Yeah, I drank too much yesterday. Hey, dude. Is that water? Yeah, no, this is water. Are you sure? Yeah, that's good. That's mm. good. Mm, that's good. But anyway, uh, I ain't tripping like Monday. <laughs> <laughs> Monday learned his lesson. Mm? <laughs> so. He lost serious, out on a woman. Uh, yeah, he lost out on, on, on a lot of things. So, uh, on a serious note, not that we never not serious in this country, I yeah. mean, in this podcast, is it a country or a podcast? But anyway, <coughs> whichever you wanna, whatever you wanna call it, um, I, I I've got a concern. Yeah. Right. And 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 it's something that I mentioned not so long ago mm-hmm. when I said the season for looting is here. <coughs> oh, oh wow! Yes. Oh, it's crazy. I I don't know if the tongue went as far as to like literally like you informed open, to the masses yeah, it's like <laughs> he's spoken like, to the universe yeah. <laughs> but it's getting worse yeah no, it's, it's horrible it's, it's hectic yeah. and funny thing is we went past town yesterday joe brooks uh, cbd, CBD. Yes, yes. Yeah, okay was... you know you know i work in um, pretoria central mm. so on two occasions now um last week thursday we had to leave in a rush okay like midday uh sorry sorry pause day sorry sorry yeah, so like since I work in Pretoria CBD, mm. on Thursday we had to leave like midday because already the strike was happening. Was it the one with the taxis and allegedly yeah. foreigners shooting a taxi driver or something yeah, along those lines? Yeah, a foreigner, basically a foreigner um, shot a taxi driver, but it was like a whole drug issue because the guy was selling drugs to obviously these Nyaope guys mm. and then this taxi driver was like, was beefing to the guys like why do you keep on doing this you see these guys how they are because you, you know how it's like Pretoria's become like that's the a taxi Yelpe driver that the, 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 the they shot ne? yeah yeah mm-hmm. yeah so it started in Pretoria so it started no no Not no really. it, it had it basically i think every city had its own own problems but mm. so right now the timetable yeah like, your timetable yo, you are, and you don't mess with even taxi today, drivers dude yeah even today again same thing mm. we had to leave like midday straight back and today was like Kobri, people were literally police each other and yeah what, what i think is that south africans are very intolerant to people from other countries period mm. we, we we don't we don't seem to like people from I don't think so, From, though. Then what is it? No. Because you can't be sitting at home saying, yeah, no, government, 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 government. Uh, all the foreigners are taking our jobs. When they do something, you can... But with the Pretoria one, pe- people have been specific there. That it's not even no, about you see the drug th- attack. No, no, the, but it then, was the whole drug issue. But then, I, I understand you. Why is it that every time there's a mention of drugs, the first thing that comes to mind is Nigerian nationals? Yeah. Foreigners, yeah. Exactly. B- because that's that's how we were... I don't know. Can I say we were wired to think like that? Or we tend to make it easy to pass the blame? Yeah, because the there's co- white drug dealers. I mean, just ask Monday. Oh, the mushroom guy. <laughs> <laughs> Did he say he was white? He was a white Nigerian man. <laughs> <laughs> Are there white people in Nigeria? <laughs> Essentially, that's I, I think that's what it is. It's it's we're very intolerant of of of, of other nationals. Um, I mean, in Pretoria, for instance, with the case of the the cop. I mean, sorry, not the cop. The taxi the driver, taxi who driver was shot, got shot. Yeah. Surely, for the drug trade to flourish, 
there are cops that are there to that's, be that's enablers. The yeah, they, they they take the brown envelopes, chief. Yeah. But then those cops are from which country? In fact, when you hear the deeper story, it's like because obviously now everything is like allegation, this and that. Everyone has this, but basically, said the cops are inside. Mm. The cops are the ones that protect these guys. The cops are the ones that deliver to these guys. The cops are the ones that literally they know exactly what's going on. But you know what? They just keep applying. On eye. the flip as well, let's leave the drugs out. Why are we then attacking Pakistani nationals? Kokasi. At the shops and stealing the fridge and groceries. It, 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 it all stems from frustration. Frustration. Like everyone's Thank frustrated you. right frustration. now, dude. Yeah, yeah. You see now, I get what you're saying. Because now it's, it's not longer. Wall. It's not people, longer about drug. It'll be like, hey, Nigerians are taking a woman. I mean, what does that have to do? Oh, with yeah, anything? that's yeah. also another narrative that people are hoying around. If you can't, if you can't make, you can't make. <laughs> <laughs> make G. <laughs> <laughs> MacGyver got touched. <laughs> But on the real, if they've got the money, they've got the money. How they obtain the money, that's uh, that's neither here or there. different. It's mm. neither here nor there. But at the end of the day, it all goes back to that our borders are not protected. So obviously, a lot of issues then end up... Because someone has to take blame. But remember lady, that. If, if we were fed ne? and everybody was happy, yeah. none of this would be coming up. Of course. But half of the continent is also hungry. Yeah. yeah. You don't see them stoning people from other countries. True. And, and there's you, a lot of South Africans in Nigeria, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But in what you're saying as well, I would beg to differ because it seems when frustration happens, it happens amongst ourselves. There's a shitload of Chinese people who live in this country. They're from China. Yeah. There's a shitload of Russians who live in this country. They're from Russia. It's black and, on black violence, man. But we make it easy unto ourselves. Yeah, like, yo, that's the problem. Like, it's, is it... Is it us looking in the mirror and identifying an enemy do, within ourselves? Do you know what it is? It's like, um, it's easy. It's like, it's, it's, it's a combination of like, um, how we've been brought up, how we've been ah, trained, how we culture. see ourselves. Wait, yes, wait, wait. No, wait, no, it's wait, going let, somewhere. Uh, let, yeah, let me finish. For example, ne, if you watch Survivor, I right? don't. Yeah, if you do. It's easy, like... Uh, in every survivor, there's always like the the, the, the mafia, the, the king, the boss of the tribe, the one who decides who's home. I mean, yes. who's going home. Yes. So they form alliances. Yes. So if your alliance is strong, then chances are your alliance will make it to the end. But there's always someone at the bottom who tries and finds cracks in that alliance. And that's how they enter. Mm -hmm. So us as black people, we are not united. True. We are not united. And if we were... Like Steve Harvey said the, uh, last week uh, when he was in SA. He still he, is. Is he still here? Uh, he was like, I don't know why South Africans want to go to Hollywood to be big when Africa has more people than Hollywood and Europe put together. It's all optics. It's, it's, there's, a, there's, there's, a, there's a dream that we think. We are not united. True. That's it. We are not men united. <laughs> Chinese are, people are Jew. united, Jewish people united, united. Uh, colored uh, Indian people united, Nigerians united, yeah, because they work as a clique, yeah, and that's why you you know if you watch like these nature shows like when 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 um what do you call them not well carnivores because they do eat meat but like yeah when animals of a certain kind want to attack a prey I'm talking about predators there we go. When predators attack, attack a prey that's bigger in size, they will not go one-one. Mm. They go as a pack. Exactly. True. And that's why it's easy for any nationality. I, I don't want to uh, a race, but that's why it's easy for any race to come and do whatever the fuck they want in Africa. Yeah. That's why we keep getting screwed. Yeah. Because we're not united. If we were united, we're strong, and we had a strong alliance, then we would be winning, bro. But it's, it, it, it stems from... Like we export all of the good shit. All our good shit, we exported. Yeah. Anyway, I'm saying it starts with... Why is that? Hey, chief, it's for the man. I'm saying it's a, it's, a, it's a case of the minute you step outside, you go to a shopping mall, you go to a club, somebody opens their mouth. Like, ona kim zulu, kim ovenda, kim Before they are... That's true. Before they are anything. So you that's a generational thing. Because for me, I don't see it like that. Yesterday, we had a Nigerian subscriber. To me, yeah. I just see another person. I don't see a Nigerian, a foreigner. We did? Exactly. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even notice. <laughs> you see? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> no, but for real, I didn't notice. 
I didn't yeah. notice. Wow, that's pretty dope. Because we're all just humans. I think. Yeah, man. Like just for humans. me, we're all just humans. Yeah. I, it's a generational thing, I think, as well. How so? Uh, if you were brought up without seeing other races, other nationalities, and all you know is black people, and when you see white people, you just remember like all the fucked up shit they did. If that's what how you grew up, and you see Pakistanis owning shops, and you don't have a job, obviously you don't know any better. Yeah, you think that that's just the way life. That's is. your reality. Okay. In- so now we grew up in a generation where we, my school, like the, I had colored friends, Indian friends, Chinese friends, Nigerian <laughs> friends, Nigerian <laughs> friends. You get what I mean? It just all depends on how you were raised. Mm. I went to a, um, a convent. No, <laughs> not a convent. Um, no. Literally, the crash I went to <laughs> a convent out of all places. Oh, you God. never know, but yeah. I went to a crash and it was a white crash. So I remember the memories I have of the was even teacher would be braiding my own hair, my black hair. Mm. So I never had this thing of, oh my God, white people are so... As I grew up like older, now you see how people relate to one another. Then you're like, Okay. My best friend was white. I went to his bar mitzvah. His what? Bar mitzvah. Oh. <laughs> what is that? It's like it's a, a Jewish, Jewish thing. Yeah. When you turn, when, like when you... When a boy comes of you, age. A man, yeah. Comes yeah. of age, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Did you have a cup? Hey. Wow. Monday. Ooh. Was that Nadia and a guy? No, but man, did you have a copy that, that had no, no, I forgot no, what no. they call it? Uh, oh, fuck, I forgot the name. I know what you're talking about. No, yeah, no, no. Yeah, what is it called again? Uh, I forgot, man. But I, it's slipping my mind. Okay, cool. No, that's yeah. fine. But I just think we're very intolerant of other people. Dude, this is why yeah. this is why I don't watch the news, dude. When I went on the news today, I, it was depressing, man. Mm. Hey, the news was depressing. People are too angry out there. And then there's also uh, that, that uh, UCT student who passed away. Who passed on? Hey. There was no, a she, hashtag. Okay, people I think, were looking for her last I, week. I, 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 oh, think, I think you need to rephrase that. She was, she was murdered. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah, murdered. Yeah, yeah. If you say pass on, yeah, it yeah, sounds like, like Unakula yeah, or yeah, something. Yeah. She was murdered. She was murdered. And then it, it, it stems to that whole thing again. Again, um, entitlement. You see, there's, there's like I'm now starting to draw parallels here. There, there's a sense of entitlement that we as South Africans have to 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 a lot of things like jobs and all of that. Mm, At mm. the same time, there's a sense of entitlement that a lot of men have, have over women, over women, which mm. is which is fucked up. Like yeah. I I I when the story that my guy was talking about now, this 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 afternoon when I was driving back from work. I was in the car listening to the news and I, st- I asked myself that, do I really want to bring a girl child into this world? Yo, mm. dude. Oh, man. Dude, it's crazy. Like this whole weekend, I was with my baby mama's sister. Mm-hmm. She came over for the weekend. All right. And every time like she'd go missing for like five minutes, mm. uh, she, uh, my girl would get worried because she's like, dude, uh, it's not safe for it's a girl. It's not safe out there. She, she would panic like yeah. for five minutes if where she couldn't she? see her sister. Yeah, where yeah. is she? You know what I mean? I'm like, yo. My, my cousin who's studying at UCT, literally, on my way to come in to record the podcast, asked me, dude, can you please help finance me to buy a taser and pepper spray? Because mm. I am afraid. She further mentioned that there was an attempted kidnapping that happened in one of the reses at her school what? sometime this past weekend. What? So it's not a stopping process. Yeah, it's an ongoing, ongoing thing. thing. Mm. And... Those are just the cases that we mm. hear because yeah, they, yeah. They, they they are on Twitter. There's mm. there's 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 a shitload of other cases that happen. I mean, a little girl was kidnapped outside school today mm. after her mother was dropping her off. Yeah, we can go like every day. There's probably like I don't know. I could be wrong with regards to the stat. There's about twenty one women who are killed in South Africa. Yeah, on a there's daily another basis. stat that for women, the most unsafest. If you know if it's a word, is mm-hmm. that a word? And safest place to live in as a woman. Number one is South Africa. Wow. Oh, I saw that list actually. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wow. I saw a list yeah. like that. Yeah. Morocco is there as well, but number one is South Africa as a woman. As a woman. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But where does. Uh, 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 and, uh, fundamental questions that we need to ask ourselves like, uh, where does this stem from? Like, because to every problem, there should be a root. Of course. Where does it stem from? I, 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 I. Is it because. Has this always been there? 
and then we were ignorant towards it because it was not highlighted as much as it is now because of social media at the drop of a hat anything happens then it's everywhere i think it's an ongoing problem which is just grew as growing like clearly with the stats that you guys are just mentioning now but what 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 is spiking the growth that's what i want to understand because most it, of these girls are led into prostitution mm-hmm. I, no but i think no, it's, we, know, no. we need to also face um face on the the male side as well it's that maybe in that f- focus now on empowering women and um, speaking to women and that maybe men are just left out and there's who's empowering men who is actually like asking or like a, kind of like a movement to make sure that says all right men what are we doing to stay right what are we doing to just continue that no i mean i don't, I don't, I don't agree with that ghost lady mm-hmm. i mean how can you talk to that guy that that animal that monster that fucking raped and then murdered a girl what what, what do you say to him like, where do you start? But, okay, I always say that before something happens, there are small things that have happened over the past, and someone has not called out this man. Maybe he did something. He This rape was not the first. His family knew. Some men around knew something. So it's that thing of... So it's the R. Kelly he, thing. Like, yeah, he was hurt, and then yes. he's hurting other people. Oh, it, maybe himself, but when it, people have known of the ongoing process of this guy is mentally or whatever unstable he's got tendencies and people keep quiet no one is questioning no one is sitting there and saying hey what are you doing but that that and they're, reporting they're, him therein lies the problems matter. what you just said and then people keep quiet yeah well, i wonder if it was like for example um you if you so raped if, it, if you if, raped a girl uh-huh. they'd chop off your dick yeah that's different those, those are things yeah that should happen you understand yeah, yeah. then you'd think twice i think you'd think twice before raping <sighs> would you if you knew you were going to get your dick cut off, my dog. No, but like, would you, honestly? You'd no, think true. twice. You'd, you'd think, think twice. twice. You'd think twice. Well, it will eliminate the problem, but yeah. you'd think twice. Yeah, I, we, can, we, can, we can call for the death penalty, for instance. Is it going to still, is it going to stop people But I just say accountability. If you know if you've got an uncle, instead of a family, it's like just knowing that, oh, we know our uncle likes to touch the girls. It can't be a family joke. No, it yeah. must be, hey, no, no, no. And the scariest... We as a family are going to go report this uncle. He's got these tendencies and we don't... And so those are the things that people keep quiet all along. And the, and scary, the scariest thing is actually uh, the scourge of, of rape and femicide mm. is, 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 is actually, um, it, it happens more prominently or women are hurt more prominently by people that they know. That mm. they know, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're Hence, true. I'm yeah, bringing right. it on and just yeah, uncle, oh, yeah, uncles, yeah. and it, it becomes a norm. Neighbor. Mm. In, in. Mm. Just, mm. Just, just, I just, but that's, a, that's what she's saying. Yeah. For too long, it's been a norm. It's, it becomes a norm, and it's like, oh, it's just like And extreme hush, measures need to be taken. Yeah. But then, they then have to, one day, that man now is out there in public, has raped this girl who was coming he's from got no school. Dick. Yeah. He's got no dick. He's got no dick. He can't hurt anyone else. There has, mm. to, there has to be a paradigm shift, or there had to be a paradigm shift. At some point, when the jokes were like, Ooh, <laughs> It became acceptable. Right? Yeah. So the same way that that scourge grew to where it is now, there has to be a paradigm shift to curb that. Mm, mm, I mean, yeah. how often do you call your friends out on bullshit? Yeah. yeah. I call you out all the time, Reggie. No, 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 I'm talking about proper bullshit. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. But you need that yeah stop doing friendship. mushrooms, Monday. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do drugs. <laughs> <laughs> First time. I think as guys as well, we never really we, we we don't we don't we don't sit down and talk about these things. Uh, yeah. If anything, um, we we, we sort of like enablers. Do, do, do you also think it's generational? Because I don't know anyone who'd want to rape a woman like that's close to me. I don't even know anyone who'd want to think about that. I and think the funny thing is, it's the people that you would never think they would think do of, it exactly. that do it. Mm. Yeah, that is the problem. Yeah. I mean, it's 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 at, at the, maybe you're thinking about it at, at an extreme case, but mm. 
me with my girlfriend, for instance, when she says, oh, no, I don't want to have any sexual encounters with you. Mm. And then was like, hi, hi, hi. In, in, forcing, that's forcing myself onto it. That's mm. right. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Whereas gotcha. some people's like, okay, maybe it's a, it's a turn on. I'll just try harder. No, no, it's not. When she says no, she says no. Mm. It's like, um, it's, 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 it's the same offense. If you grab a girl or like knock her outside the head or whatever and rape her, it's, those are those two yeah. people the boyfriend and the guy who knocks the girl over with whatever mm. they have committed the same offense so mm. i think at some point we we, we, we perceive rape as you are ah, just coming on a stranger yeah, and then kidnapped by a stranger yeah. it's it, 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 it's it's the simplest things that also take place. hey but that's why i don't watch news man it's depressing eh? <laughs> you want to commit suicide bro hey <laughs> so depressing yeah, 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 yeah but you see if you don't watch news and you don't know about these things uh, How like would you be a, able to advise the next person who's going through that? One, day, two. Yeah, I know it's ignorance. As mm. a father, what are you? What are you teaching your child mm. to be a better man? Mm. Do we? Because it goes that? back to that exactly. Mm. I have a son, and I'm always trying to think. I need to make sure that this guy does not become some horrible thing for the society in the future. Mm. You know, because that's another. Hey, today was a lot. Eh? Yeah. Today was a lot. And then Kevin Hart also went, and then. What happened? He was just, well, he was in a car accident. Car accident, right? How is he, though? Uh, he's in hospital. Okay. Jeez, what an off-ramp. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's what he tried to take. Uh, oh, did you guys see the Travis Scott thing? Who's, what Travis Scott? I haven't watched it. The, the Netflix, oh, Netflix special. special yeah. Not yeah. yet. Oh, it's so dope, bro. Oh. I, I like how it starts. It starts off, um, he's being interviewed and he's on a roller coaster. So they're doing an interview while he's on the roller oh. coaster. Oh. That's wow. pretty dope. Nice. Yeah. And he's talking. And his then? first performance, there were 15 people. So there's hope, Chief. You know? <laughs> <laughs> there's hope. <laughs> oh, yeah, by the way, Lynn doesn't even know who Travis Scott is. Can you believe that? Oh, is oh at least you kept quiet be, before you said the who's that? I, I'm hearing Travis Scott, fifteen people, roller coaster. I'm like, I this is not my conversation. But at least you're fi- you're feeling like oh, there's hope, since we know. I'll him. Google him. Yeah. Yeah. What does he do? Is he a rapper? Yeah, he's a rapper. Oh, man. Okay, cool. I, 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 One of the best. He's a oh. good performer. Okay. Mm. He's with Kylie Jenner. He, do you think I'm, he knows who that is? Kardashian. Mm-hmm. Well, <laughs> you don't know Kardashian. No. I know, I know. One the of the Kardashians. Kardashians. Which Kardashians do you know? Which Kardashians do you I know? I know. Uh, well, can you ask? Can I give my... Kim. <laughs> Kim Kardashian, yes. Okay, you know Kim. So uh, it's the, Kim's little sisters. And the fa- no, let's see. Who and the father. What which is, one? Which one? <laughs> no, not... The one who became a, 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 a woman. Oh, no, 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 no. The father. The one who was uh, in O.J. Simpson's okay. Okay. Uh, defense. All yes. right. Those are the only Kardashians that I know. That's right. it. That's it. Yeah. Chloe. Who's Chloe? Uh, my man, <laughs> but I, t- I, you know, I even sit and watch Kardashians with my. What husband. are you gonna teach your kids? You know, <laughs> don't watch the Kardashians. <laughs> no, they'll teach you about the Kardashians. Nah, 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 I, I, I don't, I don't do that. You I, must stay informed. I, I don't. It's like, it's like, it's like Big Brother. I don't, I don't think I'd ever find myself sitting down watching Big Brother or. He is clearly a fan of Survivor. Oh, I, I love Survivor. Oh, I love oh, yeah. Survivor. Mm. And every time I, sh- I just get, I, sh- I see a glimpse of it, I'm like, yeah, there's my guy. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really getting that, you know, grabbed into No, I think it, I'm the only one who watches it. No one fucks with Survivor used like to that. I love Survivor. Mm. Back, back, in back in the day. Back in the day. When he played on SBC3. SBC3. Three. <laughs> three. Yo. Before oh, he could afford DST. You know? Oh, I loved it. <laughs> now, or oh, Netflix for that matter. Yo. Now, I was like, now, nah, watch nah. And speaking of Netflix, have you seen the Dave Chappelle? Oh, oh no, 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 no. I didn't have time this weekend. I wanted to. Len, oh, that man. He, oh. Great, greatest of all time. He Goat. Broke. Oh, no, he is. You know, that guy is crude, but then when you think about it, you're like, oh, actually, actually, oh, you know what he said? I saw this. He was like, um, <laughs> first time he had 20K in, in uh, $20,000, mm-hmm. he put it in his backpack and he was so scared walking around in the hood because oh, wow. he's like, shit, he thought he was going to die. Mm-hmm. Um, Cause he finally had something that niggas wanted, you know. So he was scared, you know. Cause he finally had money, and then he's like, "Imagine what it feels like being a woman." Oh wow! Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So he's. How crude. come I missed that line? No, no, it's an old special. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. That but what, what I'm saying, thinking. what I'm saying, it gets you thinking. You say yeah. something rude, or you you find offensive, <gasps> but if you 
break it down. Oh, no. You're like, she she yeah. goes in on sticks and stones. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. Oh, like even the LGTB society. Like, oh, oh, he my goes God. in oh, on. Oh, oh, oh he goes in. Dude, that's my type of okay, shit. Okay, in fact, when, when we bounce out of here, please just tune on Ooh. it. I am sleeping. I'm tired, guys. Yeah, okay. I still haven't recovered from this. Are you serious? Shame. <laughs> Ooh, no, no, no. He proper goes in, bro. He proper, proper goes in. Give me your top five comedians of all time. In no particular order, Dave, Chris, uh, Eddie, mm. Griffin, not Murphy. Mm. Uh, oh, Eddie Griffin, yes. Oh, he's funny. Uh, Jeez. You're not going to put Richard Pryor? I never really consumed a lot of Richard Pryor. Eh? Mm, me too. Oh, and I know. Robin Williams. Robin Williams. Okay. Robin Williams, yeah. Yeah. The late great. Yeah, the late mm. great Robin Williams. And you, Ghost Lady? Can I put South Africans? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just saying, can I put South Africans in there? <laughs> That's what you remember Eugene Koza. Yes, yes. You remember Eugene Koza. Trevor was best friend. Oh, they besties. Yeah, they were. They were. Oh, they were. Booty, actually. Who hasn't? Are you serious? <laughs> You. Like the subscribers were doing at the party yesterday. Bo, 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 bo. <laughs> so, uh, Eugene Dave Kosa. Chappell. Yeah, Eugene Kosa. I, uh, like, I'm a big fan of Eugene. Mm. I'm still wondering, where is he now? But I anyway. like the colored guy. <laughs> oh, you like the colored guy? <laughs> You'll have to watch last week's episode to get that one. Inside oh, yeah. joke. <laughs> no, it's not an inside joke. No. <laughs> We don't do things inside anymore. Yes. Otherwise, people are gonna be angry. I'm gonna get angry. That's why I'm like, no, no, no inside jokes. <laughs> What's his name again? What's his name? Who? Oh shit! So, it, somebody actually uh, mentioned in the comments. Yeah. Uh, he was on Robbie Collins. Robbie Collins, my nigga. With one joke. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. Do you want, do you wanna read out some comments from Moonchild? Hey, everybody, everyone's been having me about that Moonchild interview. No, cause you, she swallowed you. <laughs> <laughs> Judging by the interview, she probably does a lot of that. You know what happened with Moonchild? Mm-hmm. I'm used to interviewing these celebrities or what? Yeah. So when I ask something, I know what they're going to say. Because you like to be crude and you just want to just make them feel uncomfortable. <laughs> oh no, she had answers for you, baby. So I'll be like, yo, have you had anal? I'm expecting, no, I don't want to talk about that. No, man, can we change the discussion? Why are you saying that? She was like, yeah, yeah, no, I've had it. And then what? <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm like, oh shit. She what even next? told you the dead, like when she had that, you know, <laughs> how she was just like, yeah, you know? Anyway, so, I'm yeah, gonna, she we pre- are go, going through some of the comments from last week. <laughs> My tele bit. Le- and so someone one le- day asked you, have be- you had a no? <laughs> <laughs> and your answer would be? <laughs> Comments. <laughs> Wait for the answer. No, okay. I've, I've tried it. Waras said I must do it. Huh? Huh? Yeah. Who? Waras. DJ Waras. Said you must do it. Mm. Okay. Do what? I get it when... <laughs> <laughs> I get it. When, when I was working at Y, I'd do the show after him. Uh-huh. Oh, he was here. Yeah, was I after him? Yeah, he was doing top three. I was after him. So this one day, he's like, um, we we're talking about anal. And then he's like... Oh, so you came behind him. <laughs> <laughs> I've never done anything. He's like, wait, wait. <laughs> 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 like, oh, so I was telling him I've never done anything. He's like, no, women love that shit. You must try it out. Mm-hmm. So after that, I tried it out. And? And? Yeah, it's cool. Yes, it's mm-hmm. chilled. Yeah. I've never. Mm-hmm. You've never? Mm-hmm. Thank you, Lim. Yeah, but then my girl at the time couldn't shit the next morning. <laughs> Look, there are some exit holes that I should just be left <laughs> Thank for you. exit. Thank you. Like, yeah, whatever. Like, but why? I don't know, dude. Like I told you, what has made me do it? <laughs> Blame the colored guy. <laughs> what is the colored guy? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> a ghost lady don't worry will skip you on this question. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, I'm no, no. I'm good. <laughs> we mustn't skip you. No, or you want to answer. <laughs> no, no, I'm letting you know. No, I am good. <laughs> <laughs> you must tell us if you want to answer. Like, it's okay. we don't discriminate here. No, I'm saying, no, I am good. You don't even have to skip me to ask me another time. Oh. And easy. I, and In easy. other ways, and easy. And easy. Yeah. I'm anyway. happy. I'm I don't happy. see, I don't see what, what would be so, like, exciting about that. Yeah. yeah. Comment in the, and let us know, man, if in you've the done sections, it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know. Anyway, I was saying, uh, my daily bear says, moon child. <laughs> Sounded tired, Dololo energy. Eric Mkuli says, there's so much to this lady, bruv. I mean, Velo, you're just gonna go at the sex life, question mark. I don't know, but I wanted to know more about her. Mm. Tolumu Diko says, secondhand smoking got McG all <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Moonchal was in <laughs> And she literally had to say, dope interview, nonetheless. <laughs> It was clearly. Uh, um, Kuliso Mulele says, uh, at 58 minutes, McG, are you sure you good, man? Seems like you got a bit high, and a great interview, which is <laughs> awesome. Um, uh, and that was legendary. Eh? Imagine says, rolling a joint mid interview, yeah, that's legendary. And you, D Carl says, I see a lot of negative comments in the comment section, but if you are if you really listen to what she is saying. One can learn a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She's. Uh, I love how she owns her sexuality. Yeah, and it's yeah. good to see women. But who she's are just she's that polarizing. Thing. Like you either love or you don't. Yeah, she's there's no middle ground. There's no middle ground. I fucking love yeah. her. Man. But don't you find it that a lot of women who or own you need their... to just find something that you can appreciate about her. her you mop. know. <laughs> oh wow. We should trademark. We that's, should trademark that's this. That's legendary. <laughs> yeah. Um. Oh, but she's big, guys. Hey. Eh? Moonchild is big. In fact, when I heard about Moonchild, oh, she's sure, a big deal. Yeah. Oh, I heard about her as I'm a big artist like, from like, huh? overseas. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll be no, big. overseas, overseas. She's huge. She's fucking with Beyonce. Of course, she's big. Beyonce, get more Beyonce. Yeah. Gorillas, Moonna. The thing is, I've known of Moonchild about two years ago, before all of this, and they had to hence I'm saying she was a South African musician who was just big overseas. So this was be- before Beyonce and stuff. So mm. I can understand why. So it takes us a while to love. You see, we go back again. We don't. We don't. We don't support our own. We don't love our own. No, no. I don't. But think no, no, no. I think there's you probably more some... love for 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 Moonchild overseas than there is here at all. That's Facts. very true. Facts. Yeah, that's true. She even knows it. Yeah. Shoma Josie gets more hype overseas than we do here. Mm, no, we mm. love her. We love her because we've seen her, her traje- trajectory. Yeah. yeah. Whereas Muncha started that side. Yes. No one even knew about it. Hence, I'm saying it was like literally. It I was just outwards. Upon, in yeah, in it's words. like, uh, oh, even Stogie. Stogie is, gets more love in Europe than he does in SA. Mm. Mm. Where do we get love? No, but Our uh, subscribers overseas are the ones who buy us more coffee than <laughs> <laughs> the local one. <laughs> that is true. We get more. We get more Big we get overseas. more love. Yeah. We are big overseas. <laughs> Nigeria. <You> know? Nigeria. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you know? <laughs> but not so really. much on the African continent. Except I know we've got a couple of subscribers who show us mad love from Zim. Namibia. Yes. And Botswana. And Nam- yeah, and Botswana. Mozambique as well. Number two is Mozambique. Yeah, but we've got a lot in Namibia. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You see, guys, we're international. South Africans are sleeping Ghana, on Ghana. us. Ghana. No, no, no. Kenya. Cote d'Ivoire, no, no. Kenya, I haven't seen. I'll check the analytics. Or maybe we should do like a French version of the podcast. <laughs> you know, to get those francophone, those francophone. <laughs> we need Je an app. Eh? Yeah. Okay, Monty has a suggestion. What's the suggestion, Monty? Subtitles. So how about we go on holiday and then do a podcast from there? Yeah. Uh, this guy forgets some of us don't work more. <laughs> <laughs> like go to Thailand and then try it out and then from there go to Sweden who's gonna pay for all of this Portugal who's gonna pay for all of this our our overseas subscriber <laughs> <laughs> yeah. didn't talk also give you like a like a like foreign money yesterday yeah money from Hong Kong or something 
No, I think it was South Korea. South Korea, yeah, yeah. Yes, she actually did say that she was in South Korea before she used to work there before she came to SA. Oh, oh is sweet. it? Yeah. Oh, she's like Moonchild. Mm. Basically. <laughs> but there's a lot of people in SA. Outward, who, inwards. Mm. Yeah. There's a lot of people in SA who go to South Korea to become teachers. Yeah. yeah America. In fact, I considered that job once. America? America. Oh. Oh, yeah. America, yes. She's she left. Post? America is a teacher. Yeah, she's teaching English. Oh. Yeah. That's dope. So if all fails, let's pack our bags and teach English. And we, yeah, we can go and teach English. Mm. I considered that at some point in my life. Mm. Yeah. yeah. If all fails or if all the students fail, English. Either or. Either or. Mm. I don't think I would... If South Africans continue to sleep on us, we pack our bags, we go and teach English in, a, in a Korea. Mm. Yeah, guys? But I, I, I never... I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know who's going to be coming behind you. <laughs> I mean, I know Lena and we're not going with we're not going, we're not coming with you. We're not, we're not coming, coming with, with you. you. Like, literally, we are not coming, we're not with, coming you. with you. We're but I don't think I would actually uh, go to a foreign country to go and, like, teach English. Because, mm. first and foremost, I think, like, my English is messed up. I speak, like, street English, so I'm going to be oh, yeah. oh, messing wow. up. The other kids teaching them like messed up English and shit. No, dude, in America you speak well. <laughs> <laughs> no, Americans are very lazy in te- in, in, in in speech. Yeah. They, they so that's o- why you you you'd be the best why? English teacher there. Okay, because you love to elaborate. Mm. And you're always teaching us here. Man. Yeah, hey, might yeah. as well get paid for it. You know, <laughs> <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> Oh, why don't you just start, like, we can start a YouTube school, like, teach people English via YouTube. There's oh, yeah, anyway, before I go, I got an announcement to make. All You're right. getting married. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this guy, you know you're going to get married before me. I don't even know why you yeah, think that. Lynn. Why are you cursing me? Eh? We're cursing you. You are jinx. It's a How? jinx. Yeah. You are the marriage material of the show. So this is the last show we're going to be doing from my house. Oh, because mm, as of next week, it's no longer my house. I sold the house. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, congrats. Wait, do you say congratulations? Congratulations, yeah. <laughs> no, but for real. I get when you buy a house, people say congratulations. So when you sell your house, it's yeah, congratulations. Yeah, because you get it. Yeah, because you got a buyer. Yeah, yeah. You got yeah. a buyer for your house. Yeah, so the process is finalized. Everything is good. So you're good. handing over the title deed. Yeah. Everything. You don't have land anymore. Mm. Mm. Shame. So oh, we'll be shooting at your house more. Okay. Yeah. Oh, really? That's nice. Or, or ghost ladies, because there's a pool there. We can yeah. do a podcast and chill in the, fr- in, like in the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> in the swimming pool. In the swimming pool. <laughs> Imagine. But I'm serious about the pool party. So, my, But people must tell us when we must do it. Yeah. Okay, we can do it tomorrow even. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, before we get out of here. Uh, it's summer, guys. We just need reasons it's to party. <laughs> it's the, it's the um, kind of, what do they call it? Uh, the, 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 the. the the ember days or the ember time of the year. Oh, yeah. Do you know what's called the ember time of the year? Mm-hmm. Teach us. September, October, ba- ah. November, mm. December. You see why you're going Are you to teach... <laughs> yeah. You see why we're gonna, you're going to go teach English in Korea? <laughs> Mr. <laughs> ember times. <laughs> Our anyway, very own. Power. Anyway, uh, quick messages. Uh, this one coming in from Lesejo. He says, is it just me being... An alarmist, or is there an Arab Spring brewing in South Africa? All townships are burning, small businesses looted. Something is happening. Please pray for SA. Uh, Ghost Lady went to church yesterday, so she can do that. Amen. Before the party, she went to church. See, that's what people do on Sundays. Yeah. Go to church. Monday. You, and you take mushrooms. <laughs> We're disappointed, Monday. We are disappointed Monday. Uh, this one coming in from Katla Khomni. He's saying, thank you for hosting us. It was a great party. I'm oh, glad thank you, to Katle have Ho. met you all. And I hope we'll get to meet up more often. Yes. Another one coming in from uh, Ntokozo Teddy. Is it not that uh, Monday's Bay? No, no, no. no. Okay. I don't think it's Monday's Bay. That ship has sailed. Uh, yeah, yeah. And Tokozo Teddy saying, hey, "Yo, guys, it was a lit party yesterday." Um, another one. This one is long. Coming from Chef Tato P Mia. 
Hello, Podcast and Chill. Just want to say thank you guys for an incredible party yesterday. I had an amazing time at oh. Len Moleko. Thank you for taking pictures at McG. Thank you for the great music. Not so my banner after all. Wow. <laughs> at the Ghost Lady, thank you for the invite and for an amazing energy at Podcast and Chill. You guys what are they, amazing. They, who do they know? They know me? Okay. Uh, I... You went there yesterday. Yeah. You know? Uh, thank you. Thank you 20,000 times. Dope one. I'm looking forward to many more great times with y'all. Shout out to Podcast and Chill with and me, G and Len Moleko and the Ghost Lady. Yours faithfully, Chef Tato P. Yeah. Chef Tato mm. P. Thank you so much. She could have a storm, man. Eh? Huh? Hey, get of that message. Love it. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, we are here. And then this man. Saturday, That's how can we oh, yeah. get? Conchie, you're Your busy guys. on this podcast. You guys are busy. <laughs> we are busy. No, I need to know. <laughs> What's happening? Well, I'm booked to capacity, so I need to know. Hey. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Who are you ghosting this weekend? Uh, a baby shower. <laughs> out of all sh- yeah. I haven't been to a baby shower, actually. Well, you should not guys. supposed to. What be. is it called? Time, time, Let time. Wanna time, time, Ah, yeah, yeah. Right. Extend that. Right. Extend Can you give us? We're already on 15 minutes. Relax. Relax. Um, what happens anyway? Uh, babe, no, the guys one. Yes. You just bring nappies, I think. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Your entrance is nappies. Oh. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Support the. I clearly would not be having any of those anytime soon. Why not? Uh, Stop <laughs> striking! Stop I, striking! Mona, let's pack you up. must loot these people. <laughs> <laughs> so wanna be here all night. Switch off the lights. Then let's let's go. <laughs> So um, I was saying this weekend, uh, lit content is taking place. The details will be on the screen. We're still waiting. Put your teams together. Get going. Get cracking. Let's see. No, but Can remember, we... you said that there must be a Len team, yes. a soccer team, and the MacIver team. My banner, my banner FC. And Yebo. what time is this? What time? What time? It starts at nine in the morning. It starts at nine in the morning until what time? Until the evening, afternoon, as long as the sun. And is you out. said people can bring their camp chairs. Yeah, it's cooler a, boxes. Yes. And relax. Yeah. And, and be play sporty. Sports and yeah. And have fun. And it's then the ladies at Wendy Wood High School, ladies can get together and, and we're doing a netball a team. Netball team. Yeah, because I've got a, already a few ladies who are interested in being the nice, netball team. Nice. So nice. Nice. Okay. Cool. Soccer team. Team of eight. Five Five aside, if anything less than that will die. Uh, so, so it must be five aside or eight. What no, is no, it? no. Five aside has eight players, and then subs, oh, and then substitutes. And subs. Oh, okay, uh, sweet, yeah. Sweet, sweet. So hit us up um, on the comment section. You can hit us up on Twitter if you want to be on Team Land, Team McG. What's team the dress Ghost code? Lady. What's the dress code? Ah, uh, you can even wear an overall. Ask MacGyver to borrow you his reflector. It's up to you. Up to you. Yes, mm. like you guys can wear white T-shirts and get them wet. It's up to you, honestly. And yeah, don't forget to follow us on uh, podcast WT, no, WIT with, no man, what am I saying? Yeah, it'll be on the bottom. On Twitter. Yeah, on Twitter, yes. Instagram as well. It's podcast WIT. Mekchi. Okay, mm. yes. And, and remember Instagram as well. And don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe. And, uh, like. If you want to drop us any messages, you can do so on 081-474-0632 or drop us an email on podcast at thisismcg.com and happy spring. Don't forget to use a condom and most importantly, if you're a guy, act right yeah. by the women of South Africa. Exactly. Yeah. Podcast and chill. Matt G, the ghost lady, and Len Moleko.